Hey there, I'm Ken, this is CRT, welcome to this episode. This is the game of the week, the Game On Challenge for Coco Talk of the week of September 28th. This week we are playing Stellar Lifeline. This is a game that I had when I was a kid on cartridge. Unfortunately, I don't have the cartridge anymore, but I do have the manual still, oddly enough. And I'll throw a picture of that up in the corner. This is the introduction as printed in the manual. And by the way, this game was released in 1983 by SRB Software. It's an officially licensed Tandy game, and it is an original. So, in this TRS-80 color computer game, you are the commander of a fleet of spaceships. Your mission is to clear a path among the stars so that your fleet can leave Starbase Alpha and safely reach Starbase Beta. As you blast off from Starbase Alpha, it is apparent that the task will not be easy. Asteroids, magnetic mines, and alien attack ships both block the path and threaten to destroy you. Asteroids and alien ships might also sneak up from behind and attempt to destroy you, so beware. You must use your wits and all of your ships at your command to complete the journey successfully. Good luck. Well, that sounds exciting, so let's get started. Now, this is one that, uh, one of the kind of interesting things about it, and something that took me a long time, especially as a kid, to get used to, is that there is inertia in it. So when you change direction, you don't automatically, ah, well, that was pretty bad first life. Uh, you don't automatically start going in the direction that you're uh, going. It takes a second to turn around. And so these are your, uh, this is the convoy that you're moving across the screen. First level here only has asteroids. And as you can see, there's a little radar on the bottom. So you can keep track of what's sneaking up behind you, what's in front of you, and I'm about to, ah, darn it. And the little white dots in the middle of your convoy are fuel cells. So you gotta keep an eye on your fuel. When it starts getting low, you have to uh, refuel. And one thing that's nice about it, once you get a little further across the screen, and you don't have to worry about, at the beginning you don't have to worry about anything sneaking up behind you because you're too close to your base on that side. And at the end you don't have to worry about anything sneaking up in front of you because you're too close to that base. So you can just go and start killing as many people as you can, and then you get your uh, bonus points for as many ships as make it across. And now, in the second level, you've got magnetic mines, which will chase you. Ah, darn it! Well, this is uh, turning into a really bad game. And I'm done. Ooh, that was awful. So let's try that again. See if I can get a little further. Like at least to the uh, third level. Anyways, as I said, I did have this game when I was a kid and ooh, I played it a lot. And if you can hear people yelling in the background, that's because my cats are being bad upstairs and people are yelling at them. So, yep. That's when you get when you record things in a house full of people. There we 
there you see I picked up a one of the fuel there uh oh darn it ah! <laughs> all my guys are getting killed oh well at least I'm not getting killed that's the important thing crap Ah. And there we go. Now let's see, does this actually move you on to level two now? Or am I redoing level one? I don't know. I think that's the first time my entire convoy has gotten destroyed. Looks like I'm redoing level one. And by the way, I am playing on the uh, Black Beauty for this. You can play on keyboard if you want. There is uh, keyboard controls. So yeah, when you get into the center like this, you gotta Careful you don't get too far away from your convoy. Keep an eye on your radar so you can see when things are sneaking up behind you. <laughs> okay, normally I play this game a lot better than this. Protect the rear. There we go. When there's as far as they can go. Okay, that was a little bit better, but I'm on to my last guy. Okay, I've jumped forward in a much better game that I'm playing. Just to show that I do actually know how to play this game, sort of. Uh, something I didn't point out before that, well, I guess actually in the higher levels like this, you actually lose your fuel a lot faster. But something else I didn't point out is if you time things right, you can make the mines or the uh, ah, ah man he shot one of my guys uh, you can make the mines or the uh, UFOs hit the asteroids and they both get destroyed Close call. Ah. over 10,000 so I've got a free man get a free man every 10,000 and oh, look at that we're already at the end so as you can see much better game I'm very happy to report so let's see how we do in this game actually this is one of the higher scores that I've gotten too I think Ah. There we go. The the mine hit the asteroid, so I 
They suck your fuel up, I think, when they hit their bullets hit you, I th think is what happens. Ah, darn it. Last guy. And there's my game. Okay, well, there we go. I hope you enjoyed looking at Stellar Lifeline. It's a fun game, yet another fun game in the um, game of the game on challenge from Coco Talk, and um, one that I really, like I said, enjoyed playing as a kid. And I think that if uh, you got a Tandy computer, you should pick this one up too and uh, download it from the um, archive and play it because it is a very challenging, very fun game. Uh, yeah, so that's all I have to say today. So uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that other stuff. Uh, and um, yeah. I've got nothing else to say, but see you later. I'm going to play more Stellar Lifeline.